Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys this Team of the Year Market Crash video to help you guys out throughout the Market Crash and also throughout the release of Team of the Year to also help you guys understand the fluctuations in the market. So I'll also answer two questions which I've seen a lot being asked in throughout all my videos to uh, kind of address the whole issue of the Market Crash and also I've made a calendar to explain the dates which are very key throughout the market crash. So the first question guys which I saw so much was why does the market crash? Now I've put up on screen in just a second two reasons. One is Ultimate Team players want to open packs to get these Team of the Year cards. So they're going to be selling their own players from their club. Um, they're going to be opening packs, getting these players and then selling them on just to make sure they can open another set of packs. So you'll see people will undercut players' prices and that does mean players' prices will start reducing quite drastically. And in occasion, guys, you will see people panic selling. Now, for those of you guys not familiar with panic selling, uh, say, for example, someone hasn't played the game in a week, they go back and they're realizing their players have gone down by almost 10 or 20,000 coins. They're going to go and sell them much cheaper, maybe five or 6,000 coins than the next cheapest buy now on the market. And you can really pick yourself up some nice deals. So those are panic sellers and the players' prices will start crashing quite heavily. So the next thing guys have put there is other FUTers or FUT players want to go and they want to sell their players on to avoid losing coins on the players they currently own. So they're going to be selling everything from their club just to make sure they can save themselves some coins. Like myself, for an example, I'll show you guys at the end of the video, I'm going to be selling most of my players from my uh, journey series. Now, we're going to go into the little calendar I made, guys. I constructed it for the whole month of January 2014, and I put a couple key dates on there. So this is confirmed Monday, the 13th of January. 2014 is the Ballon d'Or where all the main players for the team of the year players are selected and you guys can see over there that it's pretty much only around a week away so we've got not very much time left so leading up to this time guys we're going to see the market most likely reduce and players prices will start going down because people want to have more coins to open these packs now if the EA follow the same structure from last year they're going to put defenders and goalkeepers on that exact night itself at 6 o'clock and after that Give it a day um, and uh, you're going to have on Wednesday the midfielders will be released. And when they release the midfielders, they take the other defenders and goalkeeper out of packs. So they'll follow the same pattern. Take out the midfielders, put in the attackers on the Friday. And then sh on the Sunday, it should be that EA will put the full team of the year in a pack for around about, I think it's a day. And then normally what they do is they give it a, quite a bit of a break, a lengthy break, and then they put them all in for around about a weekend. So that's what EA normally do. You can expect the market to be quite bad. But in terms of players' prices, I'll explain that in just a second as I'm going through the next set. So what you guys can do to save coins. Now what I'd recommend, sell any players that you have that are fairly expensive. And I put 15,000 plus uh, because that does include the likes of Gundogan, uh, Sami Nasri. Some of these players that will probably take quite a big hit and decline in value. So that can be gold players, silver players also can go down. I haven't included bronzes as last year they didn't go down as steeply. But also I put informs and on in the terms of informs guys, you can, uh, I'd say sell some of them but at the same time, if they've been from the first early weeks of uh, Ultimate Team, I'd recommend maybe keeping them. They could go up in value quite a lot. So, informs, you can keep them. They probably won't go down as much, but definitely gold and silvers, I must emphasize, will definitely take a hit during this Team of the Year market crash. And you guys can keep your players. So, if you don't really care and you've got Microsoft points, by all means, you can keep your players. But if you want to sell them now and get money and buy them later on during the attackers, because that's when the market is normally at its weakest, um, then by all means, just go for it. But up on screen, guys, you can see now in a second, I'm just showing you guys my club. This is my journey series. I've got my uh, reasonable squad builders. If you guys haven't seen that series, do check it out. They're teams that I can create. There are 10,000 coins and less. And they are so overpowered. They play in Division 3 and 2 so easily. They get me up to Division uh, 2 and 1 just without trying. So it's quite fun over there. Now, up on screen, I'm showing you guys a website, Ultimate Team Trading. And you can see over there, I'm showing you guys, this shows the last 72 hours of the players' buy nows, or the cheapest prices that they went for. And you can see Gundawan actually went down in value two days ago. But then he's starting to go back up. And then his price is leveling off. So there is fluctuations to players' prices. I'd definitely say monitor the players prices over the next two days if you do see players prices going down 
by all means start selling. Now look at this Lewandowski one. I want to show you guys this. I'm going to show you the inform first because people don't necessarily understand the inform market very well. But you can see there's price spikes. Those are people who are price bumping. But his price is actually staying quite consistent, quite leveled off. But if he does get a team of the year card, this one might take a big hit and decline in value. Now I bought my Lewandowski, I think it was for 45,000 when I did the series, or maybe it was 50, but you can see over there his value did go down, now it was going up, and just over the last two hours it's going back down, so players prices are reducing, and I definitely say guys, look into this and just have an understanding of uh, where your players are selling, if you don't want to sell them, you can keep a hold of them, I must stress that, because many people will just go and suddenly sell their players, so if you want to save coins, I'm selling mine today and hopefully going to make some profit off them and that way I can buy them back during the attackers and hopefully save maybe 20 or 30,000 coins on some of these really top notch expensive players. Normally players only take a hit in value maybe by 5,000 coins at max. Uh, these are players that are around 40 to 50,000. I know Thiago Silva a while ago in I think FIFA 12 or 13, he went down by almost 20k so there are players that can take big depreciations in uh, their price so I think hopefully guys this helps you out if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section if I haven't already addressed that and also follow me on Twitter if you guys uh, actually tweet me some a question I'll be able to answer it much more effectively because I get that literally instantly so there is an informed player I'm gonna keep him he's only 10,000 coins and I doubt he's probably gonna go any lower otherwise we will be running into his discard value so there's an Eddie Johnson I sold on quite a few days ago, but made a bit of nice profit on him. So yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Hopefully you found this really informative, and also let me know. Uh, I'll have a double upload today. This will be a journey video later on, so hopefully you guys will be able to catch that. If you have enjoyed, by all means, leave it a like, and subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA 14 content. But this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next video.